in this uh, judgment. There's also another uh, a recent civil case that he lost uh, in the E. Jean Carroll case. Uh, in the, similarly, uh, he hasn't appealed that one, so we don't know. Uh, he's about 20 days into into that case where he's supposed to appeal. So the, the question remains, you know, when are we going to see these appeals? And really, does the former president have the kind of assets, the, the money? Uh, he said in a, uh, in a deposition last year that he had about $400 million in cash or, or that was liquid that he could have access to. It's unclear if that is accurate, Wolf, but uh, he's going to have to start showing up, uh, showing either some cash or uh, some of his assets to be able to secure a bond, again, to cover the costs of these uh, legal losses that he keeps incurring. Wolf? Evan Perizek, thanks very much for that update. I want to bring in CNN senior law enforcement analyst Andrew McCabe and CNN legal analyst Norm Eisen. Uh, Norm, let me start with you. How do you think Trump is likely to fare on this appeal? Poorly, Wolf. Uh, the judge backed up his legal findings of fraud by the Trump organization, Mr. Trump and others, with a mountain of evidence and very sound legal reasoning. Wolf, you can't say your home is about 30,000 square feet when it's about 10,000 square feet. And the same kind of disparities are found on Trump's uh, Seven Springs estate, Mar-a-Lago, 40 Wall Street, and on and on. The judge dropped the most controversial and problematic uh, finding uh, on uh, his final order, and that was the corporate death penalty, yanking the certificates of doing business in New York. What's left is bulletproof. Trump is going to lose this appeal, very likely. We will find out very, very soon. Andrew McCabe, Trump is attacking the judge and the attorney general uh, on, social, on social media, and he's writing this.